to be doing a quick and easy half up hairstyle and I started by making a part here on the side of her head. You can do it in the middle if you want. And then I'm going to grab two sections here near the front of her face and I'm going to make a rope braid with each of those. Okay, I went ahead and got this first section of hair wet so that we don't have flyaways while I'm making this rope braid. I'm going to split this in half and I'm twisting both sections to the right and then I'm going to twist them together to the left. And I'm not making this braid as tight as I normally do. I'm kind of holding the strands a little bit looser and making the twist wider. Okay, so I braided this one all the way down to the bottom and tied it off temporarily. Now for the second braid, you want to make sure that you're twisting these strands the same way you did the first braid. So I am twisting the individual strands to the right and twisting them together to the left. Just make sure you're doing it the same way you did the first braid. And then again, you want to make sure that you're not getting this super tight and leaving it a little bit looser than you normally would. Okay, there's a braid called a Hauser braid where you take two twist braids and then you twist them together in the opposite direction and it forms a pattern like that, kind of like a chain braid. We are actually going to take these strands and twist them together in the same direction that these twists are already going to. So I'm going to twist them together to the left and you just want to kind of combine these so that it looks like one giant twist. As you can see, I'm just kind of wrapping that twist around each other so that it just looks like one big rope and you can't really tell that there's two strands there. And then you can just tie these off at the bottom while you do the other side. So here's a close-up of the braid. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And again, you just want to make sure that both of your rope braids are twisted in the same direction and then you twist them together whichever way they're naturally laying. Okay, I went ahead and made two more twists here on this other side. As you can see, these twists are going both to the left. So I'm going to take them and combine them, twisting to the left. Now at this point, you have a couple of different options. If you want to, you can just bring these back together and tie them together here in the back. Or if you've braided all of these twisting in the same direction, you can actually take these and combine them again and make one giant twist here in the center. Okay, here's what the finished braid looks like. I think this bottom part looks really cool. And the whole trick to this is that every single one of these braids, all four of them, need to be twisted the same way so that it will combine in this pattern. 